All right, today we're going to talk about your um, exponent properties project. Make sure you have your rubric out as we go over this, and we're actually going to go over the rubric and tell you how to get um, your points for your project. This is what your rubric should look like. Make sure you have that sheet in front of you. First of all, go ahead and fill in your heading. Put your name, um, your block number. Okay, you can leave the due date for now. We will fill that in um, in class tomorrow. It says guidelines, create a colorful and creative poster that includes the nine exponent properties. An example of each property and the written description copied from your note handout of each property. Put your full heading on the back of the poster and turn your rubric in with your project. We're going to look at um, some example posters. Here's an example project from previous years. Okay, notice that they have an ex their own example that they've created. They have the property written out and they have their description of the property from their handout sheet. Uh, for each one of the properties, they have their own example, the property, and the description from their notes handout. And their theme is shoes. Here's a sample project from previous years. Their theme is art. And again, notice that in each one or in each thing, they have the property written. They have the description of the property from their notes handout. And they have their very own example that they've made up. Here's an example project, again, from previous years. This one, the theme is movie tickets. Notice that it's very colorful and creative. And again, on each thing, they have an example that they've made up on their own. They have the property and the description written from their note sheet. And for each thing, we're looking to make sure that you have the property, the example, and the description, and that's worth nine points for each property. Be creative. You may use sports, hobbies, or interests as your theme, but you do need to actually have a theme. For all nine properties, you must write the property in symbols and in words, and you must give a correct example of the property. That example needs to be created on your own, not taken from your notes, not taken from your worksheets, completely on your own. You're making up the example. And if you look where it is in red, again, you get three points for each property, three points for each example, and three points for each description for a total of nine points for each property. Part of this, we're actually just giving you three points for writing down the property and the description from your note sheet. All right, in addition to those nine points that you're getting for each of your properties, we're going to give you six points for having a poster that is attractive, meaning that it's colorful and neatly done and it's pleasing to look at. It's not painful. Um, we're going to give you six points for being creative. Like we said, you have to have a theme, so you're going to have to be thinking about your theme, and we're going to talk about that a little bit in a minute, but you do have to have a theme for your poster. We're going to give you six points for that, and then it being readable, meaning you don't use pencil, we could see it from far away. We're going to hang a lot of these up on the walls and we want to be able to see them. So you're going to need to use markers and things that are dark enough to read um, from a little bit of a distance. And so you're going to get seven points just for it being readable or legible. Out of 100 points, um, all of this stuff adds up to 100 points. And if you turn it in on or before the due date and you earn at least a 90 um, we're going to give you five bonus points. So if you turn it in early and you just rushed and turned it in because you wanted to turn it in early to try to get five points, but it's not worth a 90, then you're not going to get those five points. So that's why we have that stipulation. It has to be a good project. It has to be worth at least a 90 in order to get the five bonus points if it's turned in early on or before the due date. Um, deductions. If it's turned in late, that's 10 points off. 
If it doesn't have a complete heading on the back of your poster board, that's five points off. If your poster is larger or smaller than a half a poster, that's 10 points off. They sell half poster sheets at Walmart. You have to buy a half poster sheet, or you can buy a whole poster sheet and cut it in half, but it needs to be the right size. Five points off for no rubric. We're giving you this rubric and you're filling it out and going over it here. You're still responsible for attaching it to your project when you turn your project in. Do not lose it. Ten points if you have glitter on your poster. Basically, if you use glitter glue, that's one thing. It's not a big deal. We just don't want glitter all over the room. We don't want it to make a mess. Don't use food. Don't use something that's going to attract bugs. And don't use something that's going to make a huge mess. All right, go ahead and brainstorm. Try to get at least three ideas for your theme or design and start narrowing it that down. Um, again, tomorrow, please make sure that you bring in your poster board and um, markers or anything specific that you want to use for your theme, and we're going to create your posters tomorrow. Thank you for watching.